Yeah. Welcome everybody to another exciting and smoothly produced episode of the Battle of the Games uh, here at Board and Scale. Battle. I said uh in the first thirty. What? I said uh in the first thirty seconds. (laughs) Anyways. Uh, I've been trying to really get better. I was really confused about what was happening over there. Oh, hello, friend. I'm not that I'm not that upset. I don't need to support puppy. Do you hear the what's going on in his brain right now? Pew, 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 <laughs> pew, 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 Welcome pew. to the Battle of the Games Battle episode of the where games. we are going to be reviewing Dwayne's like number Grinch. five, Cthulhu Who Wars. Co- what? <laughs> Cthulhu Who <laughs> Wars. Cthulhu Who. And I'll go ahead and let Dwayne explain the game. Cthulhu Wars is as dudes on the map as you can get. T- fucking, what is it? 75 millimeters tall. There's miniatures. big dudes. What 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 is like, that in inches? There's medium dudes. There's small dudes. It's better if you describe it in centimeters. It makes it look bigger. <laughs> 72 millimeters tall. Three and there are inches. even miniatures bigger than that. So, like I said, literally, as dudes on the map as you can get, you want guys on the map, you want them to control gates, you move around, expand, put as much shit as you can on the board, take people's Take people's pieces off. <laughs> you try to take fight people's spaces off. You try to take spaces off. And then you roll 20 dice and, and get and three kills. Three <laughs> that was me, the person who, spoiler alert, did not win. And nobody C- won except for one person. Cthulhu. Who likes? Yeah, that's every game. Shh. Who, who I, doesn't I like Cthulhu? I realize that after, okay? <laughs> it's. Who doesn't like Cthulhu? Who doesn't like Cthulhu? Christians. Um. <laughs> That is true. It is uh, heretical. <laughs> but yeah, I could sum this game up in 30 seconds. Just like I, I did. Okay, you do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's as dudes on the map as you okay. can It's get. dudes. <laughs> it's dudes. All right. And they're on a map. <laughs> D-O. Dudes on. Dudes. It's D-O-O-D-S. A dome. It's a dome game. Dome. Dudes, dudes on, on a map. map. Anyway, we're starting on dome. that side of the table for this one. Why? Because we started with me last time. It's your guys I'm going to give this fellas on a board game a mighty seven. Wow. Okay. Generous. Um, okay. Because I like it. I like it. I, 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 to be fair, to be honest, I've always been a fan of dudes on a map games. I love board presence. I love interactions with other players on a board. I love the combat and I love the chaos that a dudes on a map game can bring. This Cthulhu game, you each, all of your great elder ones, whatever they're called, you have very, very asymmetric, very OP powers that you can take advantage of when you're trying to do stuff on the board. My, maybe my rating would be up a little higher if I was able to get my little, my big guy out and do what he's supposed to do, which I think now is get out early and just be fighting everybody Mm -hmm. all the time. Um, I just took too long to do that, and that's why I think hindered my, you know, my way to winning. But I still like it. I don't think that uh, it would get as much play on the table just in this house because there's a certain person that doesn't necessarily like direct conflict. But I do like it. I like the dudes on the map, you know, big old fighting game, and I like the Cthulhu mythos and all that <laughs> entails. So that's my rating. Uh, for me, it's like one play in, probably like a 5.5. 5. Uh, I think that's wow, dude. That's so harsh. It is harsh. How could you? It is harsh. I think. Why is that harsh? Remember, that's above 50%. If you got a 55 out of 100 on a paper, you fail. You We're not a, talking you about F. a paper. We're uh, talking about the amount of games that you own. Well, that's this a subjective grading 50% scale, Fifty percent better no. than half. That's like this would that's, be fifty percent best. Let me hear you out. Let yeah. me hear you out. Yeah. That's, would you be happy getting a fifty-five <laughs> on anything? No, yeah, exactly. you wouldn't. No. You would be crying. Yeah. Mr. Teacher, can I get some <laughs> extra credit homework, please? A B plus is not good enough for me. Also, Go ahead, if you Kevin. haven't watched the video, the podcast about Go ahead, uh, rating. Shit on my game. You, we should uh, we should go you should go watch that one so you can understand the the very significant differences uh, in the way between we read how games, Mackenzie yeah. rates games and I rate games. Um, I think I'm a far more rational person, <laughs> uh, and it's far more objective uh, and easily translatable to the rest of the world. Because when I say five point five, it doesn't matter. It's not about my collection. 
it's about just games. So as I was saying, uh, I think it's a 5.5 right now. I think with at least one more play, probably could easily become a six. And I say that because um, there is enough uh, individual player information that's not uh, easy for other players to understand or track that when it becomes relevant, it becomes really annoying um, if you didn't know about a player's power. Uh, we saw it firsthand. Uh, Cthulhu showed up in a place and was going to fight. What is your what was your person's Nyarlath. 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 Not Nyarlath. Oh yeah, Nyarlathotep. Yep. It's the Ancat as an elder god. Oh yeah. Like there was a whole series of misinterpretations of the rules and whatnot. Like, oh okay, well you get point you get power for this, but it's only half the power because it's not Cthulhu uh whatever. His initial whatever, but it after his initial, it's not that anyway, so you yep. would never get it. And then, well, <laughs> if I knew that, then it wouldn't have done this. And oh, you've got this thing that you can exempt this character from fighting. So there's just a ton of that information um, that just makes it really difficult. Um, if you're trying to play and you're trying to win, and you know you get totally hosed because you make choices that are really bad because you just missed a piece of information, whether yours or somebody else's. So I think with a few more plays, I think even one play, you start to see that a little bit better. More plays, um, that information be, just becomes more solidified. Um, but the problem for me, though, is, is that like as far as a dudes on the map game, um, it doesn't, I don't know, it's got table presence. But at the end of the day, all the sculpts are kind of meh to me. They're all just tentacly... Type well, that's things the, like, with, 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 I get that, but like games like Death May Die did it a heck of a lot better. You just don't like seafood. I love seafood. <laughs> <laughs> I once ate 116 God. crab legs in one sitting. Ew, dude. But do you eat all of it or do you just eat the crab legs? Like the, why the, would you ever eat that no, many crab like legs? Like actually the legs as well. Like you eat all, all of it? like a, a cluster comes Kay. with the, the thing and all just five legs. Just making sure. I fought yep. with people over this. Kenzie's, before. I'm from upstate New York. I hate Old Bay sauce, <laughs> spice, whatever, and I eat crabs. Yeah. Um, at any rate, so I, I, I think it's got a. Lot, it's a good game. I would play it again. Uh, I wouldn't ask to play it, um, but I would. I'd play it if somebody else wanted to. So. Yeah, Ken's, you're up next. I would ask last. to play if I wanted to just. <laughs> oh, and by the way, I won dudes on a map game too. So he yeah, won Kevin, by default. Kevin did. No, win. I didn't win by default. I won because I'm the only person who met the conditions to win the game. I didn't realize that that was the condition until it was the turn where he was winning. It's because you weren't because I wasn't during super paying attention. Um, because I was I was a little too excited and I was just reading everything on my my own player board as he, Dwayne was teaching, and I was like, I kind of understand this dudes on a map game essentially. You're going to be trying to fight people, right? And I was just really excited about my own player abilities. Anyways, Kenzie, I'm going to go talk to the dog real quick. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. I'm not going to shit on your game. See, I'm in the opposite boat as Kevin. I think if I play this more times, I will start to not like it more. Purely because I enjoyed myself playing it for the first time. I don't think I will enjoy it playing it more. Just because this is not my type of game. I'm not a I'm not a dudes on map area control type of person, but I enjoyed playing it this time that this we one played time. it. Um and I'm like I'm not a super huge fan of asymmetric abilities for the reasons that Kev mentioned. Another thing that I'm just not a huge fan of. That's why we don't have root. It's that's cute animals. Why we that's don't have root. That's this game, but except cute animals. Um and it just, it's a lot of things that I'm not a huge fan of, but I at least enjoyed myself while I played it, which is what you like, right? Yeah. That's what you like. Um, so I personally. <laughs> what would you rate it? I'd probably give it a 4.5. Um. <laughs> hey, wait, Dwayne, remember that's a. That's you a liked this one play of it. <laughs> <laughs> Run her over, man. Damn. <laughs> Even though you enjoyed this play of it, you rated a 4.5. I just, I won't play it again. Yeah, so rate it on the play that you have of on it. On the play that I have yeah, of it? I had fun. I'll I would probably rate never it above Viticulture. 
Wow. Hey! And that's fine. You I'm play. in the say, one play. And you'll say, I'll probably play. never to play again, but I liked it the one time I played it. You're not going to rate a game four stars and be like, oh, I really enjoyed it when I played it, but I just know that I will hate it if I keep playing it. You know? I mean, I mean, I think it's a 4.5. It's a 4.5. I think, I mean, the one game, the one, like, I got... <laughs> You it's only gonna get worse because I said I'd put it above viticulture. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a six. If you're, I think on your scale, it should be a six. It, it would be a what? six because you liked it. If you, if I based it on this one play in this one play only, it would be a six. Based that's but this based one play on, off of your most recent viticulture play. Yes, but based on me and games and how I would rate games that I would like to play. So viticulture has it a, would be a four has a has a uh, a a proliferation bias because you've played it more. If you'd played this game ten times, yeah, I said and you that. Played the the eleventh time, you'd be like, oh, she's being be, fair nope. to Viticulture. She nah, she it. took her 12, 14 loss streak <laughs> out of the equation, or else it'd be a three. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> All right. And there you have it. No, we're not done yet. I'm not done. Oh my god. <laughs> so you have you have to play one of the one game Viticulture Cthulhu Wars. Right now, this one. <laughs> Give me another three games, probably. That's what, I, that's what I'm telling you. Like, she already knows that she hates viticulture now. <laughs> you know, the other her not liking this in the future. That's a maybe. That doesn't even exist yet. That's I mean, true. <laughs> why'd you fall in love with it? And the finale for this uh-uh. episode is going to be the birther, the creator of this game himself, Pan- money. Pandy Sanderson. <laughs> <laughs> What's the name? Sandy, Sandy Peterson. Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that's from. So. It's that. Um, Sandy Peterson. I, 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 uh, I thought it was Sandy something. So I just made it up. I am not Pandy Peterson. I did not make this game. <laughs> I'm merely an enjoyer of, of this here product. Um, 7.5 for me. How's this 7.5 in your top five? Because I like it. No, I, I like it a lot. That's fair. I mean... I like it a lot. But <laughs> a, lo- a lot is 7.5? I like it a yeah. lot, a lot, a lot. Because the other four are higher than this. Okay, so that's a non... Like that... that I, you have hundreds I of games. So. Yeah. No, real question, though, is are there other... Other than the four that beat this, are there other games in your collection that are not in your top five that have a higher score, that you give a higher score? Dwayne cheated this whole entire <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, I think there's 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 a loophole that I'll get to in a second because it applies to me too, to an extent. But I'm because if you answer this question no, then that then there is no need for a loophole. Um, I I I don't think so. Damn. Wow. So it's weird because you're because this is also this is also the five. This is the one that is like any day something else could beat this out. Yeah, I got that. But I mean, the five should be solid, though. That's Fair. impressive. With uh, almost I mean, five. a seven and a half is you got to remember, he's more on my grading scale. I know. So a seven and a half is really good. No, that's fair. That's fair. Um, I was going to say the other thing, too, is, is that. You These guys like, began in nines out like fucking candy. If you oh. really like mm. the idea of a dudes on the map game, even if like this is just like the best iteration of it, like this is the best dudes on a map game that you have or that you've played, and you're like, I really like the concept, even if it's not the perfect game for a variety of different reasons, because like comparing it to a different game um, doesn't really match up, you know, because you accept certain faults with a certain type of game. I think you'd be totally justified in keeping it in your top five because you're like, I want a dudes on the map game in my top five. He has another dudes on the map game in his top five. I do. <laughs> Which one? Rising Sun, isn't it? No. That's mine. Oh. Well, what did you have then? Are you talking about Wonderland's War? No, that's not a dudes on a map, is it? It kind of. Kind of. You can kind of count it as a dudes on a map. Mm-hmm. You're just not moving them around. I but. thought you had Rising Sun on yours. No, that's mine. Do you have you don't Ankh? No, no? That's mm-hmm. not on yours. Only one land game gone on was mine. Dang. Yep. Ignore me, Jesus. Yep. Well we usually do. Oof. 
And this is why Viticulture is worse than this game. Officially. Yay. Solid. Thank Solid you. six now. Thank you. Right. You solidified that, Kev. <laughs> and fine. that is hey, the I official. Won, so I'll get to veto everybody's. Oh, you mother fudger. <laughs> By default, I should have it's won not... this stupid game. Okay, hold on. For those Sorry. who don't hey, but know. Dwayne nope. has veto power right. on Viticulture. It's <gasps> true. <gasps> the power balance. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, for the record, for everybody to set the record straight, in order to win the game, in order to be win eligible to win the game, you have to have all six of your spell books out. So no one else had all six of their spell books out when the game ended. So pff, I won. By default. No, that's not by default. That's literally the rules to the game. Default. I hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> of the Battle of the Games. <laughs> Cthulhu it's Wars getting again. Heated already. Dwayne's number five, and we you'll see this game again games in. in the ranking video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>